What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Galena, Ohio, getting ready to check out another beautiful home from Old World Custom Homes. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. These homes have been absolutely spectacular. I have loved both of them. I did just get to walk through this one. I had to turn on all the lights, uh, but the amount of detail within these homes, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love it and just the amount of ideas that come from it, you know what I mean? They're awesome. Anyway, this is the Columbus model. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. It has a three car garage sitting down towards that end. And all of this sits inside of approximately 4,930 square feet. In terms of the price, this one's probably gonna start you out at about $800,000. Though as we're going to be touring it, you're gonna be well over a million dollars. So with that, let's go ahead and get inside. I mean, fancy doesn't even begin to explain how nice this home is. Like, oh my goodness. Just wait again. Wait until we get to the kitchen. It's got another awesome kitchen. Now, I don't know if it compares uh, quite so much to the last kitchen that we toured, but this one's still pretty nice. But anyway, I'll go ahead and turn you around. Let you check out this front entrance right here. Really nice. I love the brick accent. Uh, right here in the foyer. You've got a fun little light fixture up there. Just some neat sconces to add a little mood just as soon as you walk in. Then to the left, you've got, we'll go ahead and hop into the office. Uh, but I love this wall of windows right here. You got a little pocket door and it's almost like a little pocket office. You know what I mean? You get in here and it's not real big, but it's got plenty of windows. You're just kind of cut off from the rest of the house, which is nice so you can get in here and grind it out. But then the other thing that I thought was really cool was as soon as you come into the house, you've got this little parlor area so you can welcome your guests, kind of take them in. Nice, dark, fun green color too. It's kind of soothing, you know what I mean? I think so. But that's pretty interesting. Just we haven't seen too many parlors uh, in a lot of the homes, at least not set up like that. Now to the left hand side down this little corridor, you start working your way towards the master suite. And uh, it is pretty, pretty nice. I mean, we're getting straight into it. But don't worry, there is so much within this home. This only begins to scratch the surface, but huge master suite. I love you got the exposed beams up in the ceiling. Great big light fixture, huge windows looking out into the backyard. Just a really nice room, tons of space in here. Like it doesn't feel crammed together. This little hallway right here makes it like helps it feel nice and open. You got yourself a little dry bar fun little cabinets too then past that you got a pocket door that separates the closet and this thing just kind of wraps around another nice size closet with room for all the things Then in between the bedroom itself and the closet, you've got the ensuite. Love this tub just as soon as you walk in. You've got this huge tiled shower. Look at that. You've got all the jets, shower heads. You don't have to walk real far to turn it on. And then back behind us on either side, you've got two floating vanities. Some really fun sconces up there too. I love this. It's like a little, it's like olivey. And then the water closet. Yeah, man, both of these homes, I don't know how many they actually have in terms of models, but uh, I mean, these have been in like a class of their own. But uh, coming through this little archway, just to the right side of the foyer. I'll give you a kind of a, a, a pan a little bit around. 
And I think we're gonna go ahead, we'll start over here in the great room. We'll work our way around and end in the dining room and then we'll go outside. But check out the size of that chandelier right there, huge. Yellow catwalk up top that goes to the different bedrooms. You've got this massive fireplace. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Then on either side, you've got these nice built-ins. Check this thing out, gas fireplace. And then just off of that, check out this island, this kitchen. Man, oh man, both of their kitchens have been, it's dreamy, you know what I mean? So gorgeous island. I love the wood ceilings. Two great big pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Now I do have to say, let's look, I might like the other kitchen just a little bit more. You'll have to, if you haven't seen that one yet, uh, you need to go check that one out. Uh, it's going to be the other one from Old World Custom Homes. But, I mean, this one, nothing to shake a stick at here, you know what I mean? So I like this. you got these little built-ins on either side of the sink over here. And for all of you that love your, your sinks up underneath of a window, I mean, technically, you got a window. <laughs> You're just not looking outside. But I wonder if these open. Maybe not. I don't think they do. That would be cool, though. And then it would be like a little pass-through little bar area. Uh, but anyway, you got uh, panelized everything. So I think this is a dishwasher. You got panelized, which is cool. You got a little trash can drawer right here. Oop. Some trash in there. But uh, And then on the back end, you've got some floating shelves. You've got the gas range. Beautiful countertop and backsplash huge range hood and then over here you've got tons of cabinets you got a little buffet with a little beverage refrigerator down there look how big this drawer is put all the utensils right here and then all the cabinets go up to the ceiling this right here is going to be the refrigerator And then this side would be the freezer. And then the other thing, you can access it from both sides. You got the butler's pantry over here, which goes, look at all that extra counter space you got. And this sink is actually looking out your window. So that's nice. Looks like you got another little cat trash can drawer right here. Let's see, is this another refrigerator? No, but tons of cabinet space. Ooh, there's your microwave, kind of hidden away. And then these things are massive also, like really deep drawers. All right, looks like you got another dishwasher right here, just to check, yep. And then this is really cool. So we've all seen pot fillers, right? But what if your dog <laughs> had a pot filler? How convenient is that? You don't have to worry about pulling the bowls up. I saw that walking around. I was like, man, that's nice. Ooh, two trash can drawers. You can, all the trash can drawers. And then as we kind of work our way down, you've got your actual pantry right here. So tons of storage space throughout this whole home. You got the pantry, you got the butler's pantry, you got the kitchen. I don't know, it might be I like the look of the other one, but the other one didn't have a butler's pantry. So, anyway. All right, so now we're starting to work our way down towards uh, the garage area, and then we'll get back over to the dining room in a little bit. But this is the half bath, little powder room. Funky little wallpaper in here. Cool little moody sconces. And then next to that, you've got a huge coat closet, little storage closet. Nice little built-ins. Then on the opposite side, get a load of this washroom. 
How nice is this? Got all the cabinets in here. Nice little drawers. You got the wash basin. Nice view out into the backyard or the back patio area. And then you've got space for your front load washer and dryer. Then back across the way, this is like a little mud room. So you've got plenty of space to kick off your shoes. You've got some little lockers over here. And then back behind us, you've got the three car garage. So you've got a single stall, double stall, and just plenty of room. Alrighty, let's see what else can we get into. So you do have the set of stairs, goes downstairs and upstairs. Upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. Uh, and then the downstairs here is finished as well. So you've got this almost like a gigantic little media area. So everybody can come here and just kind of do their homework. And if you're in there cooking, you can keep an eye on the kiddos. I love this brick accent wall. And then all the way through here, you've come to your formal dining room. Nice big space, plenty of windows. And then we'll access the patio from this side. You can also access it uh, from over there in the living room. But I just kind of like this area. I like this little thing right here. It's almost like a gigantic ice chest, which I thought was pretty neat. Set this up as like a little bar area. But then you've got some fun ceilings and then just plenty of room as it wraps around all the way to the back deck. You got, again, the sliding glass door, a couple light fixtures. And then let's get down here in the yard so we can check out the rear elevation. Just a, a massive, massive home, which is pretty neat. I really do. I hope uh, that they've got a few more uh, lying somewhere up here in Ohio. Maybe they got some Pennsylvania. I have to look around. That's the one thing that I do love about being in West Virginia now is we are centrally located to like everything. You got Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia. Pretty easy to get down to Georgia and South Carolina. I guess technically Northern Alabama is not too far away. And then up North, you know, you got Maryland, PA, Ohio, Indiana, all that fun stuff. So coming down into the basement, this is the second half bath. And this one is finished off, but there's plenty of storage down here as well. Uh, and we'll get into all of these different utility rooms. So you got a little media area down here. And then back behind that, you've got this really cool uh, bar area, almost like a, like a fake barn wood. It looks pretty sharp. Got the faux stone countertop, the sink, and then some nice floating shelves, plenty of cabinets and drawers, another little beverage refrigerator down here. And then behind this door, this is like the utility room, two water heaters, oh man. So you got the water heaters, you've got the furnace, you have a sump pump over here. And then this just kind of wraps around. I'm sure that you could probably have this thing extended if you wanted to. So your basement could just be absolutely massive. And there's still a whole nother side to this thing too. That's what that, uh, that other door is over there. Go see what's what's happening over here and then we'll get upstairs and 
check out all those bedrooms. Yeah, so I mean, you just got tons of additional space whether you use it as storage or you just extend it out. You can let me know what you would do with it down in the comments, love to hear it. Or you don't even finish the basement and you just leave it all for storage down here. Some people need it, you know what I mean? Anyway, as we work our way upstairs, if you are interested in this model, or, or <laughs> little tongue twister there old world custom homes uh, you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country you can see if they're built in your area your price information filter based off of all of your specific criteria and find that perfect home for you but up here is where all of the bedrooms secondary bedrooms are got a fun little pendant light hanging down and then uh, let's get into them. So up first, sitting towards the front of the house, is your first bedroom. Nice little built-in bunk beds over here. Super cool. Nice little floating shelves. But nice big room. I've loved how all the windows are low. You yeah, definitely have to keep them closed if you got little ones, but I just think it's a it's a fun look but nice size room and I think they're pretty much all that size this one they're using as an office right now it might be a, no it's about the same size the other one I think they were getting ready to sell it they were closing in a couple days or whatever so luckily we squeezed that one in and then this one they're still using as an office but into its closet, it's got the double doors. And then this one is actually a Jack and Jill, plus it's shared with this hallway right here. So this door leads into the bathroom, but we'll come out here into the hall. And let me show you this before we get too far. A little linen closet. But into the Jack and Jill, you have one vanity on this side. And then that door right here back behind us. You got the shower. And the toilet. And then you come to the second vanity, which sits over here by this other room. All of these are like massive rooms. I like this one because it's got the double, the double closets in it. I don't think it goes all the way down either. Oh yeah, it does. So you just got two doors right here and then two doors over here, but the whole closet is attached. So that's nice. And then across the hall, this is probably the smallest room, but it has its own private little ensuite. This one sits towards the back of the house. It's closet. Man, I should have came when somebody was here. I could have asked for a t-shirt. And then into its ensuite, single vanity. Nice little cozy shower in here. My, they don't have to be super big. They just have to have a nice shower tray that I can like move around in. I hate the, those really narrow tubs. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like my feet are so close together when I'm taking a shower. But anyway, let's get you back out over here on this catwalk, which we're just going back towards the top of the stairs over there. Uh, but you do have views down into the great room from right here. Alrighty, so today was absolutely amazing. Uh, we got a couple surprises this morning back on the farm. 
And then uh, Old World Custom Homes, thumbs up, I love it. This is awesome. Uh, super excited to have been able to come out here and tour it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Again, if you want any more information on this model or Old World Custom Homes, you can click the link right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured. So with that, thanks again for stopping by. And as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.